Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is a pretty big relationship issue, and that's feeling unappreciated by your partner. Now, this can happen to pretty much anybody, especially if you've been together for any amount of time. But what ends up happening is we become very lazy with how we talk to our partner. We don't say to them when they do little things for us, thank you so much, that was really thoughtful. We just say, okay, that's cool, great. But we don't acknowledge it in the way that we did in the very beginning of when we were getting to know someone. And this is what causes huge issues in relationships because as time goes by, you're not getting those little compliments or acknowledgement. You start to feel like you're just invisible. You're just a part of a relationship. You're not a partner in the relationship. This is where people make big mistakes because if you don't always appreciate the little things your partner does for you as well as the big things, they're eventually going to look at you in a different way. When a person feels appreciated, they feel respected and loved by their partner and vice versa. And that's why it's so important to be on the same page throughout your years together in a relationship. It's not just because the first two years has gone by, the honeymoon stage is, is behind you, that you stop doing these things. The more that you say thank you to your partner for everything they do, you're going to have a continued love connection with them. Because you get it, you, you appreciate the the environment you're living in with them. You respect the fact that they're doing these nice things for you and you take the time to acknowledge their behavior and how great it is. When people start to become just boring in a relationship, they stop doing those things that gave you a foundation in the very beginning. And that foundation needs to be nurtured. It's not a given that it's always going to be there. But that's what got you through the first couple of years with somebody. And if you stop doing those things that brought you together, it's going to start putting your relationship in jeopardy. You're going to start crumbling because you don't have the simple things that keep love strong. People forget this and it's not a good thing to to sort of push aside and think just because you're in a you know a, a long-term relationship with them and you both have rings on your finger that it's a given it's actually more work when you are in this stage of your life because you have to let them know all the time things are great if there's something you need to talk about talk about it if you're feeling underappreciated you need to bring light put some light into this this conversation I do want to draw attention to people who enable this type of behavior as well because sometimes partners don't see that their their partner is doing so much for them because it becomes sort of a gradual thing and then all of a sudden they just start expecting it because the other partner keeps throwing it at them and they go well okay they seem to like it they like this role they have put themselves in so I'm going to make them happy and keep taking what they're giving me well, that can be okay for a while, but come on, you're going to get bored being the one that keeps taking everything and the person that's giving it is going to start being resentful. So you're both playing a bad part here. You have to stop this from happening. Don't allow yourself to be the one that's kind of being the martyr. You're doing everything for them and then you're complaining about it. You want to set it up so that it never gets too far from the 50-50 zone. You both want to be respecting each other and giving back to each other. It's not one person's job to do everything and the other one take them for granted. Having boundaries and expectations does not mean you're high maintenance. So don't think by putting a few rules out there that, well, I would like you to do this and I'll do that, that you're being, you know, controlling or anything like that, because you're not. You should have boundaries. Everyone needs to have boundaries in a relationship, especially when there's longevity involved. You have to have certain expectation and boundaries to keep it going. So don't let them get out of hand and not talk about them when it's getting to the point where you're so frustrated you're almost thinking about walking away. 
you have to talk to them before it escalates to this place. So to make this a, an even kill situation, if you both talk about what's bothering you without anger, don't let it get to that place of anger. Talk about it when it happens. If they d say something, you do something for them, they don't say thank you, call them on it. Just say, well, you know, I really put a lot of effort into that and I barely got any acknowledgement back from you. You don't have to yell at them, but say these things to them. Sometimes people are so used to you doing things for them, they just take it. Don't let them do that. Don't enable them to be able to do that. I know I say this in a lot of videos, but I can't stress it enough all the time, is that you, if you want people to respect you, you have to respect yourself. You have to have self-awareness and confidence and the strength to say to somebody when you're not feeling you're being treated right. If you're feeling like you're getting bored in your relationship, why are you bored? Are you not contributing enough to the relationship to make it exciting? You know, it's not always the partner's fault. We have to look at ourselves and what we're allowing, what we're, what we're doing to somebody else and hear what our partner is saying. If you're pushing away when they're saying that they're sad, that you're not appreciating them, you're making a mistake if you want to keep your relationship in a healthy place. My partner still opens the door for me after 15 years, you know, and maybe that's not everybody's thing but I really appreciate it. I like the fact that he goes out of his way to make sure that I'm taken care of with bags in my hands or whatever, getting in the car, opening the front door, bringing the groceries in. These little things make your relationship strong. They keep it in a happy place. When you underappreciate your partner, it also affects the intimacy in your relationship. And that can be a very downward spiral, as we all know. You want to keep the affection and the intimacy alive forever within your relationship. And if you're feeling underappreciated and taken for granted, you don't feel sexy. You don't feel like jumping in the sack with them. If you notice that your partner doesn't care about their appearance anymore around you, they just don't care. That's something to be attention to especially if they're dressing up and caring about how they look when they go outside of the house. People get lazy in their partnerships and this is what is a huge problem in the start of the demise of a lot of really good relationships. People don't take time to do the small things that keep a relationship alive. It takes two people to make or break a relationship and it takes two people to be mature enough to have a conversation about what's going on, what's changed in the partnership and to find a way to come to a solution to make it better. Otherwise, you're both checking out slowly out of the relationship and it's going to fizzle. So please never underappreciate your partner. Always say thank you. Be supportive of each other, hear what each other's saying, and really, really listen. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber C today. Please leave your comments below, and if you haven't subscribed, I always appreciate it when you do. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.